Hey there, lab. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to make a wet mount slide uh, with a drop of our cell culture specimen here so that we can get close and personal with it underneath the microscope. So when you come to lab, you'll see two tubes like this of a yeast culture. Both tubes will be of your yeast mutant grown at a permissive temperature, but one of the tubes was switched to a higher restrictive temperature for several hours before your lab. So to make my wet mount, I'm going to take five microliters. You can see I have my P20 here set to five microliters, and I'm going to drop my specimen right down on the top of this slide. Here, this is your cover slip. Slap that down right on top of your droplet there. Maybe give it a little tap. And now you're ready to go ahead and put this onto the microscope and observe your specimen. Again, as a reminder, you should start off focusing your microscope. Here I have my initials written on the side. I'm going to use my 10x, my lowest power objective, to focus in on my initials here before bumping up to the 20x, making sure we're still in focus before moving over to my specimen, our yeast cells. Our cells will still be pretty small at 20x. So in order to actually appreciate the phenotype of these cells, you'll want to go up to 63x. And that is the magnification that you should be taking a picture of your control, which is the yeast grown at permissive temperature compared to your mutant phenotype, which is your yeast cells grown at that higher restrictive temperature for several hours. As you might recall from the last time we used our microscopes, it's the focusing and the setting up of the microscope that is usually the part that is most frustrating, requires patience. So if you're having issues, just ask for some help.